Hello, I'm Frida. Um, I, I'm going to show you some recipes I'm going to make for my dinner. Uh, my husband took the kids to the mosque and I'm going to make this video while the house is a little quiet. First, I'm going to spray this pan and I'm going to use my washer as my workspace because I don't really have any other place in the kitchen. I, I have <coughs> enjoyed calling my kitchen my food truck because it's so small. <laughs> anyway, so first I'm going to show you how... Um, let me turn the computer a little. I can see. Um, this is going to be garlic balsamic soy roasted mushrooms. So this is going to be my side dish. The recipe, the only thing I didn't like that the recipe asked for was was uh, thyme. I, I'm not going to put thyme in this. I, I I want to put cilantro and and green onions in at the end for garnish when it's done cooking. Ouch. And it asked for garlic, so I am putting garlic. And I don't have nearly, I think I might have half the mushrooms that the recipe would ask for. So I'm just going to cut it in half because I don't need, I don't need the whole, uh, yeah, these are eight ounces. So two together makes one pound. And I think the recipe asked for two pounds. So I'm cutting it in half. I'm the only one going to eat it, probably. So, um, I'm going to pull it. Oops. These, um, uh, okay. I love freshly grated garlic, grated by myself. Um, mushrooms, I don't really wash mushrooms because they, um, they can um, absorb the water. And I don't really want them to do that. I'm going to put uh, oops, cilantro for the end. It doesn't really have that many ingredients. Where's my uh, head? Uh, since the recipe is a cut in half, I'm going to put one tablespoon of One tablespoon of um, soy and one and a half tablespoons of balsamic. I'm using the balsamic reduction because I love the flavor of it mixed with soy sauce. That's all. That's really all the ingredients. Until it's done cooking. After it's done, then I will worry about the other the garnish. I will. Uh, and I'll turn these or give them a stir halfway through the roasting process and I'm not adding oil I just put some of that coconut cooking spray from the Dollar Tree and these mushrooms were 99 cents a pack they were on sale I'm 
using my broiler. I'm using my my broiler on low for for the mushrooms. I was gonna. Um, I wasn't sure if I should put them in the oven or in the toaster oven, but I decided to put them under the broiler on low. Um, okay. Now I have something else I want to show you and this of course these garnishes going at the end and I am done with these because my other dish is not soy based. Um, so I'm going to start with this give it a wash. And I'm going to add the um, Pola fish bite that I got from Kroger with zucchini and uh, lemon and garlic. I'm going to, I'm starting with chopping these and then I'm going, going to uh, marinate the fish a little bit while, while I uh, toast these off. Actually, those chunks might be a little bit big compared to the fish bites. It's the first time I've seen those uh, fish bites that are Great for stir frying. to get. Hmm. Those mushrooms are already starting to smell good. Let me get this. Okay, I'm going to put these um, Polak bites from Alaska in the bowl and marinate them for a minute. In the lemon and garlic. Um, And I'm going to use this instead of butter. The, uh, I can't believe it's not butter spray liquid. I uh, oh, I don't want to use butter, real butter. Actually, you know what? I, I'm not going. I'm scared to cook the lemon juice. I think I'm just going to cook it in butter until it's done and then uh, put the lemon in at the end because if I remember correctly, I don't like the outer, the outer flavor of boiled lemon or cooked lemon juice. Um, maybe I could put a little of the zest in with this. That would, be, that would probably work out better.
I don't want to overdo the lemon. I just want to hit a bit. I don't want it so sour that all other flavors are drowned out. So I'm going to give this a pause. Okay, alternative time. I'm going to put a little squeeze of lemongrass in here too. Not much, just a little. And now I'm going to uh, check the mushrooms because I smell them. Oh yes, uh, it's time to give them a tumble. I'm going to bring them up here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just flipping them here in the sauce. Um, it, it's not runny. It's just, uh, okay. I'm going to use my hands because that's quicker. They're slippery because of the oil spray, coconut oil spray, and the broth. The, um, not broth, but the sauce. They're cooking nicely in the under the broiler. Under there one more time. Cook a little longer. Now I'm going to let you see what I'm doing over here with um, now this I am going to put a touch of oil in it because it's a wok. Just a little bit too low in there. Let it get really nice and warm. Okay, now I've um, I'm marinating this fish, the fish bites in garlic and lemon. Um, grass, like a half teaspoon of lemon grass and uh, just a hit of lemon zest and some grated garlic, two cloves of grated garlic. So it's going to be garlic butter and lemon flavored. And I want to just let you see how that looks. It's just, it doesn't have a whole lot of sauce, but uh, just enough to, if I put it in a scorching hot wok, it'll evaporate, it'll evaporate real quick. Okay, I put just a hit of lemon pepper seasoning on on these um, zucchini cubes. The lemon pepper is from the Dollar Tree, so nothing pricey. I think the wok is hot now, so I'm going to toss them in. Um, the smoke and steam all at the same time. That's just, that's just uh, how a wok does, a scorching hot wok. Um, it's a quick cooking method. It doesn't uh, require a long time of cooking for a for vegetable.
requires a very short time, maybe two minutes at the most. When you start to caramelize a little, I'm going to take them out for a minute until the fish is cooked. And then I'll toss them back in together. I don't want the zucchini overcooked. getting caramelized. See? The zucchini is getting caramelized there. So that's what I want. Sit for a minute there. Now, I'm going to let it sit over here because the zucchini will cook a little more by carryover cooking but the heat that's in it. Zucchini is an easy cook easy cooking um, vegetable. It's not, it doesn't take it long. Now, I'm going to let this fish um, cook quickly. It's a smoking hot wok, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, I'm going to put a tiny hit of uh, cornstarch in here because the sauce uh, needs to have help to thicken up a little, just a tiny bit. I don't want to overdo it. Just I'm not trying to make pudding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Together. Now this won't take long to come together because the pieces of fish are small. I'm ready to toss the squash in. I want to give it a hit of lemon juice. Okay, now I'm going to put the lemon juice in. And that's it. I've turned the heat off. It didn't take long at all. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit here while I prepare the garnish. Okay, now I'm going to taste the mushrooms. I garnished them with green peppers. I gave them a toss. Not green peppers, green onions. <laughs> so let me taste. Bismillah. Mm hmm. Good. Very good. Mm. The flavor went into the mushrooms very nicely. Mm. Has a very good uh, sturdy um, texture. Yum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice indeed. The, I have the recipe for the mushrooms and I will link it below my video. But I do not have a recipe for this. Um, Polak and zucchini. This was mm. it's lemon, garlic, uh, 
I can't believe it's not butter spray. And zucchini and black bites and I garnished it with green onions and cilantro. I put a little lemon juice at the end because I don't like cooked lemon juice. Maybe I could write out that recipe for you at the bottom. I want to keep eating this. Mm. Mm. Zucchini, garlic, lemon, cilantro, it all goes together very well. If you don't like cilantro, you could you could use dill instead. So I'm going to go enjoy my food. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Don't be scared to comment. I like reading comments and replying. So, um, and I wish you a great weekend. Uh, what's left of it? Have a nice evening. Bye.